Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I want to do this video here today with Lauren Chamberlain on the left and Sierra Romero on the right. And if you follow softball, you'll know that both these ladies just have amazing mechanics. They just have produced tremendous results over the years. And I want to show you something that they're doing in their swing that I truly believe will help you to be a better hitter. Now, if you watch my videos, you know a lot about the setup, the pullback, the resistance. And what I want to share with you right here is a drill that I do with my students when I'm working with them. And I, I truly believe they'll help you to be a better hitter. But again, everything, like I always talk about, it's a process. It takes time it takes work it takes effort it takes commitment so let's get started here now the first thing I'm going to show you here with both these ladies here they both have a kind of a different style you can see here with Lauren Chamberlain she starts with her hands here right here with her hands a little below her her armpit with uh, uh, Sierra her hands are higher that's style you don't want to mess with style as long as it's not unorthodox or too crazy I leave it alone now another thing that's going on right here is both these players are getting into the apex of their gather watch what's going on with their hands their hands are very passive right here in other words there's no pullback going on right now it's just basically going for the ride until they get to the apex of their gather now once they get to the apex of their gather the thing I want you to focus on is this the hands should be right in front of the armpit deltoid area now Sierra's hands are a little higher ideally I like to see them always right in front of the armpit shoulder area it's going to give you a better hand path but again with Sierra she's not far off at all and again as this is this has worked for her so I would leave it alone but again if you start getting too high just to let you know you end up having more of a steeper path to the ball and that can create some problems and if your hands are too low that can create some problems as well now once you start moving forward the thing I want you to focus on is this watch how the back elbow starts working up back and behind them and as they do that pay attention to the angle of the barrel of the bat as they're getting into their toe touch with both these players right here again Let's focus on what's going on with the barrel of the bat, and this is going to be the purpose of this the purpose of this video to see what's going on with the barrel of the bat. So as they're getting into their toe touch, watch what's going on with the barrel of the bat. With both these players right here, you're going to see again that they're both going to have their barrel pointing out in the field. Okay, in other words, you see here with Lauren Chamberlain, her bat, her barrel is pointing pretty much close to the shortstop. And again, this is a different angle for Sierra, but hers is doing that as well. Now, the thing that you have to understand is this, and this is very common with players, and you're not going to be noticing this unless you're looking at it from the pitcher's view. But many players, when they get to toe touch, the barrel is either play, pointing to pretty much the left center field, the center center field or right center field. Again, with many players, if you're looking at them from the pitcher's angle and you pay attention to what's going on with the barrel, it can be pointing to the left center field, center field, or right center field area, okay? And the reason I bring that up is because what happens with many coaches or what happens with many parents, they try to get their players to have these kind of real perfect precise angles with the barrel or with what's going on with the body and you do want to have some absolutes but when it comes to the barrel angle, there is no really no absolute to that particular angle and the reason I'm bringing this up is because I want you as a parent as a coach or as a player to understand that if you for some reason or another when you're getting to toe touch and you find that your barrel is pointing to right center field that's perfectly fine if it's pointing to center field that's perfectly fine if it's pointing to left center field that's perfectly fine but the point is I want the barrel pointing out to left center field center field or right center field but I do not want it pointing to the point where it's pointing straight up or behind you and even worse yet where your barrel is pointing down and the reason why because this is creates back drag now at lower levels when I'm working with players many times what happens with them is that they end up as they're getting into their toe touch and everything looks pretty good and instead of the barrel going towards the direction of the field somewhere the barrel starts going in the opposite direction in other words towards the catcher again many times I see players that they're going towards the position the bat at barrels going towards the catcher and that's what starts creating problems so when I'm one drill that I would recommend for you to do is over and over do this in front of a mirror doing this in front of some kind of a reflection so when you get to toe touch let that back elbow work up 
back in behind you where the barrel is pointing out in the field somewhere. And again, I don't mind if the barrel is pointing to left center field, center field, or even right center field. I do not want the barrel pointing down, and I don't want it pointing down this way, and I don't want the barrel pointing flat, in other words, to the shortstop, but I want it more like at about a 45 degree angle, pretty much like this, either, either direction, okay? This is going to help you tremendously for you not to get into bad drag or to get into a long swing. Now, as we go further here with both these players here, again, I'm just going to reiterate some of the things I said to you, and this is very important for you not to get into a long swing or bad drag. Again, as you get into your setup, make sure you're nice and comfortable. You have passive hands. You're getting into the apex of your gather, and once you start getting into your forward move, that's when the back elbow works up back and behind you and by doing so correctly that's when the barrel starts to be pointing out into the either left center field right center field or right center field okay this is again where I want the barrel to be now if you do this this is going to allow you to get the correct angles as you continue to apply the resistance and the pullback in your swing and the resistance and the pullback should continue even into your heel plant even into your connection of your swing so even at this stage of the swing right here where it's called the connection stage of the swing you should see this kind of an angle like this where the barrel is pointing pretty much like this okay you can see with both these players now from Sierra you can see it a little better if I go straight down you can see how the barrel's pointing like this and again with Lauren if we continue to go down the barrel's pointing pretty much like this and again what happens with players when their barrel gets flat the barrel's out here and the barrel's pretty much pointing out at a horizontal angle when you do that that creates bat drag where the back elbow starts to creep underneath the hands as you get into your swing therefore giving you a long swing giving you bat drag and all kinds of angles now one thing I would recommend for you to do if you get your hands to this stage right here just like I'm mentioning right here with both Sierra okay and Lauren now try to creep your back elbow underneath your hands and you're going to see that it's almost impossible or very difficult to get it underneath your hands because the angle of the bat, the angles of your hands, and this is very important right here, the hands right now with both Sierra and Lauren are pretty much pointing in this kind of angle right here. They're not pointing flat. When they're pointing flat like this, that's what creates the bad drag. Now try to creep your elbow underneath your hands. You're going to again see that it's very difficult. That's going to help you again to not have bad drag. Now I did a two hour and 45 minute video getting into great detail about a lot of the things I brought up in this video. I hope you ordered it. Give me a like if you learned something about the bat path. Have a great day.